Let's have a moment of honesty here. Everything we believe hangs on this book being true. A book that's been copied by hand in a game of telephone lasting centuries. Yeah, let's deal with that doubt for a minute. To trust this book, you have to trust the people that made it. So, let's look at the work of a scribe responsible for the Torah. Before he can ever touch ink to paper, there are 4,000 rules he has to memorize. He's a professional responsible for every stage of production, preparing the calfskin, creating a grid with pinholes and string, so each letter is in the same place. Each word reads with the same ease and accuracy as the original. Even the tedious task of preparing a day's worth of ink from gall nuts. He copies one word at a time, first saying, then writing, then saying it again. Make a mistake on God's name, he starts the whole document over. Every single letter, 304,805 of them, is written according to a prescribed set of strokes. He writes with a feather quill, by candlelight, with ink that bleeds and runs, and the letters must not touch. We're talking about a lifetime of backbreaking dedication, and that means this book is not just any book. It means that the words it contains, God meeting his people face to face, God leading, protecting, providing for them, those words can't be a mistake. So we're forced to deal not just with words, but with the living God himself. 